Hello everyone, this is Karl Denk here and today we're going to talk about another film in the 13th EU Human Rights Film Days program. Uh, the film is A Life Like Any Other, uh, Une Vie Commune Autre, and we have a very special guest, the director of the film, Faustine Cross, with us today. Hi Faustine, thank you Hello. for joining us today. Hello everybody. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> so let me just quickly introduce the film, A Life Like Any Other. It's a documentary made mostly from the archive uh, of family films shot over the years by Faustine's father, uh, Jean-Louis Cros, Cros uh, mm -hmm. who is also a film director. By editing this archive footage, Faustine focuses on her mother, Valérie, uh, who also works as a makeup artist in the film industry. So, Faustine, I'd like to start by asking you how the idea for this documentary came about, but also we know your earlier short film called La Détesse Deux. Uh, which was also a film made by you from archival family films. Uh, was it always in your mind to make a film about your mother? Um, no, actually, um, I think the starting point was the in my short film was the archive of my father, which I found quite intriguing because he's a, like you said, he's a film director, but he also filmed a lot us, his family. So in La Détesteuse, it was this kind of exercise where I dived into it for the first time and it was also about my mom somehow but I starting point for me was more the um, at first was the images of my father that I wanted to explore because they are weird uh, family movies but also very much directed by my father uh, so I was intrigued by this and then um, my mother's um, suicide attempt arrived like a, a bomb in me and in my family. And I switched my ID to, because it was stronger than me, I had to explore those images, not because of the filmmaking aspect, but because of what happened to her. And they became uh, a tool for me to explore her story. So that was really an emotional starting point of trying to understand what happened to her. Yeah. So uh, working with footage and editing it to create an, uh, a new narrative is a very hard work. Uh, have you seen this? Uh, have you seen the advantages of working as an editor in many films over the years? In, on working on this yes for sure because i um uh, i i had to be able to take a lot of distance from yeah my emotions and also my project as a filmmaker and i think when you are an editor you are used to constantly be very very critical like um as if it's the first time you see the film whereas when you are uh, making the film you're constantly thinking about it so it helped but at some point i reached my limit of like what can i see uh how can i dissociate myself and there was a limit at the like when we, we did the editing uh where uh then i felt that we have to involve someone else an editor and I met Cédric Zunen who was fantastic because he started from a together with me from a version that I edited which was more or less very raw and didactical somehow and he succeeded in joining in the process and we could finish it together so that was really the perfect scenario where I could do most of it alone, and then at the end he joins in and he makes it what you saw. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, with a help from a friend outside the family, um, mm. I can understand that. So I think the film has something very special in its own way because uh, first of all, we seem to begin as uh, you know, as if we're just meeting your mother in a regular documentary in which uh, you are the narrator, but then we are able to share the audience seat with you actually and enter Valerie's inner world. While achieving this, were there any clear decisions you made beforehand during the editing process or maybe after with the collaboration with your editor friend? 
Yeah, it, it was made in the editing. It was really a decision that um, I became a character somehow as well. And that appeared in the editing. That was also maybe why I had uh, to also rely on an external eye to be able to see that. And um, on the other hand, the, the, the access into the inner world of my mother was also just a representation of, of my evolution in the process as a daughter filmmaker, like because it took me seven years to make this film and it's sort of a, a resume of all the thoughts that I had in that time that became uh, film language. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. So when Valérie and your father, Jean-Louis, saw the film, how did they react? How were their feelings about the film? Uh, they were uh, very shocked first because they I, they were, they didn't see the film. They saw their life. They saw uh, so many time passing by in such a short time. Uh, they saw memories, they saw, uh, well, uh, it, so it, it took them some time, but afterwards I was very happy because you can see in the film, they are very generous. They are very open-minded. They are very like, okay to show their vulnerabilities and, you know, they are very, yeah, generous. And so afterwards, when they saw the film, this the my dad said that he was very happy because it shows a very complex vision of what family life is. And my mother, she, she was more like, "Wow, you you maybe somehow figured out things about me that um, oh she always had in her, but it was never like so clearly." visible or articulated in a way. Uh, and she told me the biggest compliment she said uh, for me, at least uh, now you see me. Now oh. you can see me. So I was really so nice. touched. Yeah. So uh, how do you plan to continue your career? Uh, you're gonna uh, will you continue editing for other films or will you only make your own films? I will continue both. <laughs> I hope. Let's. Uh, uh, I am now. I am uh, at the moment. I am editing another film for another director, also about her mom and her oh. uh, family. So it's interesting because there's no archive. It's a totally different project, but somehow there's some similarities in the directing process. So that's cool. I, I, I have a big part also to, to create in it. Uh, and also as a director, I am writing another film now at the moment, and I'm planning on continuing to make at least uh, two more documentaries um, that are also inspired by some intimate part of my life, but they are not so close to, to me because this is, it looks maybe very simple or very easy going when you see the film, but it's one of the most difficult thing ever to make a film about your family. <laughs> so it must if be I hard. can have a bit of a rest before I continue. <laughs> so I have, yeah, the have right. project, but I guess I hope easier. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Finally, is there anything you would like to say to, to the audience in Turkey? That, yeah, I am very happy that the film goes all the way to Turkey. It's the first time it's going to be shown in the country. Yeah. Um, I wish I would be here also to talk more and to meet you guys also at the festival. That That would have been awesome everybody to feel to to feel free while watching it that it's a movie uh that it's hard sometimes it's tender at other times and my mom now is okay 
like you can be uh, sad, happy, angry. Like this is really a film that I made so we can all reflect on our own lives and our own families. And it's really for sharing this part of my life with the world. And I hope, um, I hope it can also empower other women like it does for my mother to feel maybe less alone or heard or understood or maybe that their children will understand them later like it was this case for me and uh, yeah every life matters that's <laughs> my message <laughs> so thank you very much Faustine it was so nice thank to you. talk with you about your film and good luck with the new, new projects of you thank you for having me yeah <laughs>